player bullet hell games. <laughs> that said, uh, Booty's Meta Knight on this one. Meta Knight, a very sticky and at the same time somewhat difficult to nail down character. A little bit slower in the air, but a lot of interesting recovery options. Uh, very quick moves. So mm -hmm. we'll see how that comes into play here against Sinji's more uh, patient playstyle. Yep. Although, we're going to That was off one interaction. Granted, an interaction where Hydrum was already up and Galaxian oh, was there, but. Oh, Sinji had the read, but got the soft hit. Mm -hmm. Booty. Booty down tilted the Hydrant once and took 80 for it. Yes. That is what happens. You you can't take anything for granted in the matchup with Pac Man. If you assume, oh, you know, I, I, I should be allowed to shield here. Nah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I should be allowed to, to hit this item now. Oh, yeah, no, that is, I think, one of Pac-Man's greatest traps is, um... Oh, no, he ran out of jumps! <laughs> I think one of Pac-Man's greatest traps is just getting you to hit the Hydrant mm -hmm. so that um, you do just that little bit of damage in it, and then Pac-Man can launch it, and then you take 70. Yeah, exactly. And it's not even just that, you know, it's very easy to look at playstyles like this and be like, oh, he's just dropping down items and throwing things. Sinji knows when the Hydrant is going to like, ah, yes, he's going to lock himself in place and I'm going to get a punish here. He's aware of that and he's aware when he can use it to extend his hurt boxes. I've seen him do that with like uh, with the forward smashes and things like that. Verge guards, it's crazy. Oh, oh that no. should be... All right, 36. Yep, 36 is getting out pretty light. Uh, did actually get put into a mix-up afterwards, but didn't get hit by it, so that's a positive for Booty. Chasing real far off the stage. Sinji actually uh, side beat into the trampoline that was already there, incredibly smart. I uh, I would have you know, tried to side beat to the ledge and probably got neutral beat for it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the spacing on that is a little bit uh, precise, because if you hit the trampoline, I would imagine that locks you in place for a second. Mm -hmm. right. There we go, uh, Sinji ready with the uh, the trampoline ledge trap. Yep. And we're actually seeing punishes on the uh, Dimension Cape as well, which is a very tricky move if you're not uh, used to the matchup, because Meta and I can choose both where he goes and whether or not the hitbox comes out. But I think what we're seeing from Sinji is, uh, this should be side B to trampoline. Oh, Ooh. side B directly to the ledge. Nice call. Little bit of uh, a reaching up beyond that one, going to take like 35%. Though I think something that should be helping Booty in this matchup is the ability to recover high, mm -hmm. uh, and especially with Meta Knight's all the uh, all the uh, options he has at recovering. Yes, there are uh, things you can do with Pac-Man to cover high, but they are not as nearly as comprehensive as if he has you at the ledge and he's setting you up. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a positive for Meta Knight. There's also not too much generally in Pac-Man's kit that's geared towards the vertical. Oh, just no. a just a raw forward smash catching catching Booty's landing. <laughs> Booty looked like he just got a headache from seeing that happen. <laughs> he was like. Did I really just get hit by a forward smash in neutral to lose? He got he got hit by the forward smash in real life. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh god. Now to be fair, that was a really nice mix on that one. Sinji had all the time in the world to bait a juggle. Booty was like, no, there's not gonna be anything here. I'm not gonna bait an air dodge. I'm just gonna, or you're not gonna bait an air dodge. I'm just gonna go all the way down. Yeah. And then there was a forward smash. It was actually a little bit of a dash attack too there, which is funny because dash attack is quite fast. So I'm sure the the idea was like, oh, you know, I'll dash attack if Sinji's shielding, I'll maybe cross him up, you know. This will be fine, I'll live this way. Mm -hmm. All right, it looks like we're going right back to uh, PS2. Mm -hmm. One thing I have seen Booty do a decent amount of is that uh, run forward or run cancel uh, jab, which is a nice option. Actually goes fairly high, uh, quite quick, and a good disjoint on that one. But we're seeing uh, the hydrant sort of mess up the spacing on it between the water uh, being in front of him and Sinji. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult. There's not as much grounded space as Meta Knight would like to play on. Um, Meta Knight does have a lot of that really good aerial presence, but it's, I think, his grounded ability to get in with a dash attack, to grab you, etc., that really uh, asserts his dominance, sort of sets you up to be on the defensive, and then he can start jumping at you. That was so unfortunate for Booty that Sinji fell out of the jab, because he got back thrown and had to deal with being off stage against Pac-Man again. Mm -hmm. Gets back to mid stage, holding it now, goes a little bit aggressive, but managed to, to punish the out of shield option that Sinji had gone for, pushes him off stage. Forward smash, classic. You have the run forward jab. That actually does cover jump, I think. I think so. And uh, uh, Meta Knight forward smash is has so little end lag. It's almost like wolf smash. That's a big, 
big that, F smash. That, that was really, that looked kind of silly because it was just run up and throw that, but I think that covered uh, spot dodge, roll back. Um, the only thing it didn't catch was like roll forward or shield. And even if you did shield, uh, you know, you got to out of shield when you've got belly, right? That's just scary. That was a uh, great drift by Booty just a second ago to not get hit by the Galaxian and take another 40 or whatever. Mm -hmm. Actually sitting pretty even now. Gets the up out of shield punish, which is quite an effective option. Now playing a little bit of neutral in here. Booty trying to work his way in, but then you just see Sinji sort of slip behind. I like the chase on the platform there. The up tilt coming out a little bit early and getting beaten out by Booty's down air. I like the waiting by Booty on that uh, second up air. But now just has to make his way back uh, through the Pac-Man wall. Pac-Man has the platform above him to protect him and then just uh, sets up the hydrant and the trampoline. Mm -hmm. and I, I do also like how we're seeing uh, Sinji, that little hop there to try to avoid the dash attack, dash grab mix up on that one. Just like, yeah, I don't want to bother. Yeah. I will take neither, thank you. Yes. Oh, no, not quite. Good DI from Booty's part, holding hard to the right. Gonna avoid the combo video material. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, so you got the water pushing them away on that one too, although that's probably for the best in that situation. Doesn't want to be uh, stuck on the jab release end of that. Good, good ladder by Booty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's not here, he's not here. <laughs> Where'd he go? Ooh. Right. I do like these really aggressive chases from Booty, trying to fully capitalize when he has Sinji in the corner, taking advantage of Meta Knight's strength. That's such a scary spot to be in. That was a risky air dodge in. Mm -hmm. Very good patience from Booty on that one. Trying to go for the two frame with the mock tornado. Not gonna pay for his life yet. Dimensional Ooh. cape, but doesn't space it quite right. Yeah, dimensional cape, uh, the attack does not have, <laughs> the attack does not have that much drift. Mm -hmm. Which is, I thought it was going to make it, but yeah, it did not go far at all. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is a rare, like, super clear moment of, I wonder how this interaction works, like, yeah. mid-bracket. You don't see that too often. All right. Catches the jump on that one. That back air, very active, very disjointed, very quick. All right. And he gets caught by the trampoline hit. Nice. Yeah, that Dimensional Cape is a really good option to just throw out sometimes. Yeah, no, I think Dimensional Cape, uh, Booty's kind of starting to figure things out with the Dimensional Cape being able to get in on the, the Pack Fortress. Mm -hmm. One of the big things about Dimensional Cape, arguably, is that uh, not using it is just as scary as using it because you have the threat of, oh yeah, at any point in, in given time, uh, Meta Knight could turn invincible yeah. and, <laughs> and hit me with a kill move <laughs> or not. And just teleport, and it's not really a punished situation most of the time, so it's scary. Although now at this low percent, the ball is in Sinji's court. Ability to sort of play back, build through. Now to get... Ooh! Yep. Was it actually able to roll out of the way of the grab? I mean, I know uh, Pac-Man's grab, not that fast. Yep. Oh, oh that was still a punish! 63! Yep, Meta Knight is very light. Luckily, the mask is made of just enough of a heavy metal that to keep him in the game enough to it. get back to the stage and eat an up smash. Oh, shoot. Booty was starting to figure things out in that game, too. But uh, just great punish by Sinji. Mm -hmm. I think we see another thing, right, is that Dimensional Cape, for as good a tool as it is, it's still not a tool you can lean heavily on. Yeah. Even though we saw a little bit of an inversion of a punish from that one just getting out of the way before Pac-Man's grab could really register, it was, uh, Cindy was playing around it at that point. Yeah. It was like that spacing of, okay, Hydrant's over here, the water is potentially in play, you are behind the Hydrant, there's nothing that could be here except Dimensional Cave. Yeah. Or like Mock Tornado, but that's reactable. Yeah. So, um, 